So last time I used all of the carrion sorceries in the game and it was a lot of fun. So this time we're going to be doing something from the incantation side, which is all of the bestial incantations. So we have bestial sling, stone of Garonk, beast claw, Garonk's beast claw, bestial vitality, and bestial constitution. So there's two ways I could have made this build. One where it focused more so on damage. I believe there's a dagger out there that increases the damage of Beast Show Incantations, but instead I opted to use a max cast speed build. So I do have that Xur's Glintstone Staff. Even though I don't have the requirements to use it, just having it on the offhand does affect my casting speed. And then along with Radagon's Icon, I do have max casting speed. And if worse comes to worse, if I run out of FP, I would just take those off and then use this weapon here called the Beast Claw Great Hammer and we'll just work from there. Since next time I'll be focusing again on sorceries, maybe in the comments let me know which branch of sorceries would you want me to check out. And yeah, if you like the idea of this video or PvP or Elden Ring content, please leave a like and a subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. On to the battles. I throw a rock from right here. <laughs> I just threw a big giant rock. <laughs> nice, and then drink. About to die. Rock. Oh wait. Hey, drink. Rock. Oh, that's unfortunate. Rock! Wow. That- Okay, let's- Let's talk about that AoE damage of that rock. That was nowhere even close to that one guy, I think the host. And they still hit him, and it stunned him to death. That's crazy. What is that range? Oh, we don't have poise. <laughs> Ooh, pretty good. Ah, oh, you could have got it if you hit me. Uh, that was actually very bad on me. If they would have just swung instead of roll back like a panic roll, they would have killed me. But that was bad for me to drink these claw again. Very greedy, but I'll take it. Good match. Breath. It's not Scarlet Rock. I don't know. I don't respect it. Rock! I crouch. Haha! <laughs> this works great! Oh, you called that. Where did the Banished Knight come from? Oh no! You stole my clip! Hey! Cheeky rock! Cheeky. Oh wait, you're the host. Hey buddies. You guys are dead. Oh, you're gonna die. <laughs> you're gonna die. Oh, you got Hunter! Okay. This, this could be a fruitful invasion after all. Okay. Hunter! No! Oh. <laughs> well, it wasn't fruitful at all. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh! Oh, I got it! <laughs> Let's go! Why do you have Hunter Summon? How dare you! Well, that worked out great. Oh.
<laughs> well, they need to make so make something happen. I think they hit here. Haha! <laughs> they can still hit you there. No? Hi. <laughs> Oh, I got you! Alright, I'm coming down! <laughs> Ooh. Brock! Brock! Haha! <laughs> I guess I could do this for Chip, right? Oh wait, I don't have my thing on! There you go. <laughs> well, what a, that was just a kind of a tricky situation because I think I would have been like kind of an unfortunate situation down here. But it was kind of fun. Oh, it blocks it. Oh. Where are you? Keep on backing away. Nice. I'm running. What is the blue? I got scared by the hunter. Nice. Scary. Can I kill this hunter really quick? Oh, never mind. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> well, that worked out great, didn't it? I don't think I have enough poise for this. Oh, we do a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Oh, that's so much damage. Ooh, nice. Ah, close. Good match. I was very close to the end. I had um, 33 HP. I think that's because of the blue branch, uh, blue feather, blue feather branch sword. I think that's the only reason why I survived. Man, I, I'm telling you that that's Housman's clutch. Hope you have enjoyed the video. This is me using all of the bestial incantations in the game, and I had a lot of fun with them. These are our stats, and this is our equipment. So the goal of this build is to become a max speed boulder throwing master and it kind of worked. I think the stone of Garank was my main go-to in every single situation. Cause one, you do have a whole bunch of hyper armor when you do it. The AOE when you throw on the floor is amazing. And if you do hit someone point blank with the stone, you can usually follow it up to another stone. And that is usually pretty guaranteed. I haven't found many moments where people could just roll out of it. And then my other tools are the Bestial Sling. It's great for chip damage. If you're like opening a fight and you know, you don't want to commit too hard, just throwing this out. You could do a chump version too. Next, we have Beast Claw. Beast Claw is pretty nice. This is a version like that. It goes a pretty like a wide range in front of you, kind of like a cone that goes outwards. The damage is pretty decent. If people are chumping, you can still kind of get hit if it clips their leg. And usually what I like to do is, because Beast Claw is pretty easy to dodge and it's pretty telegraphed, I like doing Beast Claw into Garang's Beast Claw. So usually they're going to be rolling around. Then you just switch effortlessly to that and it goes all around you in a circle and you could maybe catch someone off guard. Beast Shell Vitality is great. Good regen, good efficiency with FP, and lasts a pretty long time. Lastly, we have Beast Shell Constitution. I didn't really have a chance to use it, but it's great against, I believe, Bleed and frostbite so if you have some status buildup you just use this to like negate it and it's pretty neat 
And always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. And again, in the comments, make sure to let me know which sorceries you want me to check out next time. I did incantations this week, so next time when I do do something like this, I'll do it on sorceries. So again, put it down in the comments. I'll read it and I will consider it. Anyways, catch you next time.